Hello, day 19! So for Christmas, my parents gave me a gigantic two kilo jar of peanut butter because I like the peanut butter from home better than I like it from here. I've been really struggling to eat it before I leave, and I'm leaving in about a week, so I have to get it all done. So I decided to make cookies. So I found this recipe online um, for like peanut butter cookies sandwiched between two pretzels dipped in chocolate. Okay, that sounds cool, right? Yes. So I made them, and uh, you know they don't look as good as the picture, but they're still right. So naturally, I recorded myself making. Alright, so I got my cupboard, and there is the icing sugar I used. Um, I also had to use brown sugar, um, and chocolate chips, which I ended up using a different thing for. I used chocolate bar instead. And there's a giant 2 kilo jar of peanut butter. Um, I didn't have any paper in my room, so I wrote down the recipe on my Kleenex box. <laughs> Alright, so, peanut butter. It was really sticky, could not get it off the spoon. Um, but eventually I did, and I filled, needed one cup of peanut butter, and then uh, two tablespoons of butter. Um, mix it all together, stir, 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 stir. The icing sugar, I should have um, used a sieve, but I didn't, and I kind of, yeah, it exploded out of the jar. <laughs> but there's three quarter cups of icing sugar. Um, mix it all together, and I'm, I won't lie, I've, I've seen more appetizing things. Um, anyway, then I added the brown sugar, mix that all together, and then you basically make little balls of peanut butter. Um, it was really sticky, in case you're wondering. Um, and then you sandwich the ball of peanut butter between two pretzels, and then you have to stick them in the freezer for half an hour. Um, so you don't actually bake them, which I thought was interesting. Uh, yes, yeah, it was very gross and sticky. As you can. So after I put them in the freezer for half an hour, they came out looking like this, and they are ready to dip in chocolate. Now the recipe suggests that you do the double boiler thing with the hot chocolate or chocolate over the stove, but I could not figure that out. Um, I don't have a double boiler, so I just put it in the microwave, which is pretty simple as well. Just put it in for 30 seconds till it melts. Take it out, stir it a bit, and then keep putting it in for like 10 second bursts until it's all melted. Then you just dip half of the cookie in and put it on a tray. Um, they look pretty. Then you put them in the fridge for 10 minutes or until the chocolate sets and they come out looking like this. And then you can share them with all your friends who like the end. Thanks for watching. Bye.